here we got a new version. Let's go. Ooh, nice landing. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, I like that little hop there. <laughs> it's so great. I love it. Yeah, really cool changes. Definitely camera move works. Offsets there. I like that jump for sure. Let's see. Cool. Yeah, time is great. Love the changes in the arms. Great landing is great. Doom. It's a good little sense of weight, but still stylized enough. A good little bounce. Drag in the arm is cool. Nice line in the wrist there. For polish, you can probably like take one pinky out here, and that's pretty okay. I like that triangle. Bit of a simplified shape there. And I love that little that little bounce there. Good look there. Getting into the expressions. Bit mischievous. Love this. Goes back on there to push off. Ah, oh, so great. Watch out. It's a bit strong and it's in the section there. I don't know if you can have the bamboos and just shape it up. Let's see. Where is that leg? Okay, so you might even have something where she goes from here to here and you might even already have the foot here. You know, like and even like part of the, the shin. So it's not just that. You might have to bring that out a bit. And then we can see the rest. Just hinting at it. You know, so we can see the rest of that shape. I think the intersection there should be okay through here. Yeah, it's great. I wonder if here, once she's up there for that push. You, you might do this, but I'm just curious because she is so front heavy here that on that push off here by now, I would say it's actually the hips that are a bit more forward. The body is back and the head is back a bit because right now it's like a push through the, her arms. I guess it could work, right? She's pushing forward. This comes forward, but that leg is still back there. And then she pushes off, and that's what brings the bottom part forward. I guess it could work. I was wondering if there would be a stronger. Maybe I'm also reacting to, like, I like this, seeing the structure, right? It's always about the structures. Like, you don't want to bend an arm towards camera. Because that's, if the bend is here, the arm just looks really short. My concern is that here we're starting to kind of lose what's going on. Even here a little bit, we're losing that foot. And it's such a long thigh. And then visually suddenly it's such a shorter thigh. Meaning that it might, we might have maybe even a little bit of a curve here so that we can see, you know, that thigh line will be here so we can see the shin and the foot throughout. So we always have that visual clue of pushing off. And also at this point that hip would have to be rotated back. This side is further back. This side is further front because this leg is up front here. Even here, I don't, I don't think it's rotated enough. This feels better. But it definitely works a lot better. So I want to make sure that I give you all the, all the info and you know we can push this as best as possible. So that it's basically so it feels like a section leads the other section, and that's why I was I was wondering out loud if that upper body part should be back here and she can push herself off afterwards but the main push is here just because this is this is the pose the bottom part leads the whole action and i'm wondering if at this point it feels like everything peels off like she's against the wall and then everything is away from the wall even with this dragging a bit and suddenly it's the opposite i'm just curious if that might re better to really push the bottom part first like she's holding on for stabilization but the main push is the bottom part love that here that little settle i think we can see how she looks up here i would take about two or three frames out of that and start one or two frames earlier so we have a very distinct look up right now when she turns she slowly looks up 
and then stops a bit harshly on the linear key. This is so super picky, but the eyelids are right where that line is. Watch out for tangents. I know this is super picky. And then she goes right down into this. And I think it will help. Yes, this is visible, right? Once the camera goes up, but to really telegraph everything, if she turns around and then has a if not like not sharp as in a sharp stop, but a very distinct, visible look up, head up rotation. The audience, any audience who's still looking here, not here, will realize what is she looking at, and it will guide the audience to this. Then he can drop. Watch out for like any kind of extra bounces. If you do this for later polish, you're gonna have to move arms a little bit. You know, all that has to react is a bit loose so everything will be moving a bit and then that guard will have to come up puff up a bit and come back down so you want to continue that interaction with these that's all cool i like the fold again this is great and i love that she pulls and it slips off clean silhouette i love that turn here from here with that little hop up step turn into this it's a bit sharp how this leg goes from here to here to here stop straight down into a foot roll settle there i will probably have this foot here and then slide into even if it's over one frame it feels a bit bah, bah. just even more than one slide move in there i think that works a lot better moving the arm the stretch is good might be a bit overstretched like this you might want to bring that shape down so it's a bit more like a shape like that and overall versus that kind of shape. This gets, especially texture wise, very isolated on that drop. So you're going to have to have a little bit of chest movement here and even the head would react. I think this is a bit wavy. The eyebrows to go this brow first and then this one, it's a bit too wavy. I was subjectively, I would just have either both or one more than the other. And then the end is a bit blocky where it just kind of looks whoop, whoop, where it's just it's a bit post to pose and very very hard in its stop and go and how much the rest you know of the body's moving head looks you're gonna have to have a little bit of movement here on this you would even have some movement here just a little bit but i love her how she pulls and then she realizes it doesn't work let me just check because if she does this my only other picky thing would be like why is she suddenly looking up and stopping and i'm wondering if if that light goes over here now have the other light hit her even if you have your eyes closed and you have a flashlight in your face you're gonna you're gonna feel it and see it right that light is gonna blind you either way and that's why she opens up i think i would do that instead of she opens up for no reason and then the lights on her i know this is super picky but I think it would work also because it's a bit stylized of we got him Phew, second light second lights on her and she goes oh lights on me oh man and i do love that she looks down and closes her eyes because then it's, it's a bit of a move here that guides us back to him but now that her eyes are closed we're looking to other eyes that are open and then we can look at him so it's, it's in terms of audience direction and where we're supposed to look it's great we look at the guard all right Something's wonky there in the speed there. He comes forward. I feel like his his arms, like the swings are really big compared to a fairly slow forward translation. This feels more like, it feels a bit too exaggerated. Also, it, it's really harsh in terms of here to here, bam, to shoot up into this and then come back down over one frame. Bam, like it hits a wall right there. I personally would remove such a big swing keep it more maybe sideways or just kind of a change of a pose because again because we're not moving the camera just yet we can sense the translate on him and it's not that fast it's a bit of a disconnect of slow versus such big moves you'd be probably better off let's see what is she doing when she goes on that land you might even frame her a bit more over there so that we have the guard come in a frame or two sooner which means that you can speed him up a bit like i would speed him up coming in because even once we're here 
This is really fast going forward, right? If you just look from here on. And I would buy that if he was fast at the beginning. So it's almost like you have to go from here, enemy backwards at a faster speed, which means that he would enter frame a bit later, which might feel too late and you feel like, what is she reacting to? And that's why I'm saying if we reframe, then you can come into frame a bit sooner and it will all work. I hope that makes sense. And then for him, I think we can make this a bit more complex. I love all this here, asymmetry and everything. But once he's up here, he turns a bit default in terms of twin posing. I think we can we can switch it up a bit more where it's like the arms are still a bit messy, you know, in terms of the, the posing of it. This is great. Then we're back into asymmetry <laughs> and all of that. That's great. You can even have like one frame. He's here and he's already more turned. We see the nose. And then here is profile with big eyes and mouth. Oh, but just for one frame, we read like a frame of panic. Boom. He comes in here and all of that. Yeah. That's kind of what I have. It's so cool. I, I, you should look at the very first version and then this. There's such a difference. It's so great. I really, really like this. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.